Hi guys, I'm Dr. Andrew Iraniha. I'm a board certified uh, general surgeon and I have been in practice uh, over the last two decades in Southern California, Orange County, Newport Beach area. My main um, interest is minimally invasive surgery including robotic and laparoscopic operation and my main focus of the practice is major and complex uh, abdominal wall hernia repair and body contouring. The videos that you're going to um, see is my experience through bilateral knee replacements. Um, unfortunately, I have developed bilateral knee arthritis and um, is associated with the pain and discomfort and I uh, need to have this type of operation in order to recover and go back to my uh, normal uh, life. And I thought it would be very um, interesting for uh, people to uh, hear and see my actual um, experience through this um, operation for multiple reasons. Uh, number one, it's because of my uh, unique age group uh, that I'm going through this operation. Number two is that I'm going through bilateral knee replacement and I watched so many videos on the social media and I didn't see that many people with the bilateral knee replacement and sharing the experience and I thought it might be helpful. And the other last reason is that I'm a surgeon myself and I um, deal with patients post-operative pain and discomfort and recovery and I thought um, looking at uh, this uh, um, operation uh, from a surgeon um, eyes and also a patient uh, perspective uh, might be very helpful and uh, that's why I'm going to share my experience with you but uh, again I'd like to emphasize that I'm not a, an orthopedic surgeon and I'm not a, a certified uh, and licensed physical therapist so Whatever I say in these videos and uh, what you see from my um, post-op recovery, including my um, pain medications regimen and also the exercises that I'm going to show you are not a medical advice. If you have any question or concerns, you definitely need to talk to your orthopedic surgeon or discuss the matter with uh, your um, certified uh, and licensed physical therapist. Hi guys, uh, today is uh, almost seven days prior to my major surgery, bilateral uh, knee replacement. And uh, actually today is my uh, pre-op day and I thought maybe this is the best day to uh, get my first video and share it with you. I'm uh, going to have a pre-op visit uh, with my uh, physician and also get some um, x-rays prior to the surgery, but then I thought maybe um, I can share with you how I got um, to this place and how I decided to uh, proceed with uh, double knee uh, replacement uh, at this stage of my life. Um, physical activity, exercise and, and a sport um, has been an uh, inseparable part of my life and um, I don't remember um, any day that I almost didn't exercise. Um, since I was a kid, uh, I went through different type of sports from soccer um, and then uh, basketball throughout my high school and even uh, college and medical school. And then I uh, continued playing um, basketball and different uh, sports uh, even uh, throughout my early uh, career until I was uh, late uh, 30s when I started playing uh, tennis. When I first uh, picked up the racket and uh, hit the ball, I fell in love with this sport and uh, it was not that uh, long that I um, learned how to play good um, uh, tennis in the courts. And I was one of those guys that um, uh, go from one side of the court to other side of the court and chase uh, every little balls. Uh, it doesn't matter where it went. 
um, I um, had to um, chase the ball and catch the ball and um, uh, when uh, I talked to my uh, friends and family some of them they uh, told me that I really abused my knees but when I uh, look back I uh, really enjoyed those days that I was playing and I really enjoyed the game and I still uh, love um, tennis but it was um, early 50s when I started having uh, some uh, knee pain on both sides of my knee and I remember initially I was wrapping my knee and uh, putting knee braces and after stretching going to the court and playing the game with pain and um, suffered for 24 hours after the game and then recovered and went back to work um, but then after a couple of years uh, my knee started getting swelled up after um, each uh, game and uh, I uh, remember um, switched to uh, uh, playing doubles for a very short period of time and then subsequently I couldn't continue. Um, the swelling was so bad that I had to uh, uh, suffer for pain and discomfort and inability to uh, uh, do full range of motion of my knees uh, almost a couple of days after each game and uh, finally in mid 50s I decided uh, that I have to uh, quit tennis. It was one of the, one of the very uh, tough decision I made and it was very harsh for my mental uh, well-being but then I uh, switched to other um, uh, sports uh, you know body weight exercises and I started yoga and uh, actually helped my knees um, and my pain uh, and I was able to uh, perform my regular activities um, but I couldn't uh, run and I couldn't uh, uh, play tennis and I uh, couldn't um, jump it was hard um, until recently um, that uh, even regular uh, walking is is a little tough um, because of my uh, tough work, I have to be mobile from one side to other hospital to in the operating room and and even the standing or sitting uh, too long uh, creates significant uh, uh, stiffness in my knees and um, finally uh, I decided to go and get MRI and uh, see an orthopedic surgeon. So. My MRI showed that I have uh, significant uh, osteoarthritis of uh, medial side of my both knees, essentially the bone on bone and uh, I lost my cartilage and that's uh, why it's associated with uh, bone bruise and some uh, inflammation of bones and uh, that basically explains the pain that I have. Um, so when I uh, met my orthopedic surgeon, he um, told me that uh, the only and best option would be a knee replacement. So initially it was like a shock, uh, even though back of my mind, I knew there's not going to be any other option, but um, just hearing that from a physician, uh, it was just a huge shock. And um, initially I struggled with that uh, decision um, and I thought about it a lot uh, and uh, finally I decided uh, that uh, this is the best time to go for this operation. I'm still younger, I'm still fit and I'll be hopefully able to uh, recover fast uh, from this uh, operation. So today is almost uh, seven days uh, before my uh, surgery and I'm going to my uh, pre-op uh, and I thought uh, I share with you uh, a little brief uh, story of how I uh, got here and uh, to be honest with you I'm, I'm a surgeon myself I deal with uh, patients before surgery uh, during the operation after surgery for their recovery and I try to make them calm and uh, show them my uh, confidence then everything is going to be fine and uh, try to be uh, positive uh, but just uh, to uh, share that with you that I'm a little scared right now going through bilateral and knee surgery at uh, my age uh, with my lifestyle as a busy um, uh, surgeon in sur a very busy surgical practice is tough and um, uh, I'm not 
uh, shy to tell you that I'm scared a little bit. Um, the only thing that I can do right now is to be positive and um, rely on my uh, fitness and hopefully I can uh, uh, recover fast and uh, share that also with you step by step. Thank you.